everybody it's Mary Page and I'm gonna see if I can make a little video for you guys this is an update on the 29 gallon I planted for my daughter Morgan we did this on February 26 and we have all the plants really growing in right now now this is one that we did the uh, black diamond sand blasting sand we actually let's see it's kind of dark in here but you can kind of see it right there we had taken, um, well, let me see if I can get it up here. Anyway, we had taken some soil out of the yard, mixed it with gravel and sand, made a base layer, put two to three inches of black diamond sandblasting sand, a few little decorative rocks, put a little cave in there. Of course, I have grandkids, and they had to put this SpongeBob <laughs> in there. But all we have in here is a betta. We have the platies. There's our little male guppy and there's another one in here somewhere we have some mystery snails I don't know if y'all can see them or not but there's some little tiny babies in there there's one right there wait see it oh there it is see that we've got baby guppies we've got baby platies let's see what we have over here but this is um, this is some ballastinaria we got from father fish some duckweed I'm not sure what that is right there. We have some pogo stemmen, stellatus octopus from Aquarium Co-op, sponge filter from Aquarium Co-op running this whole thing. Well, I take that back. We do have a little, like, uh, I don't know what this is. It's just a little filter running back here in the back. Wait, you can't see it. That little thing right there. It's just got a little overflow to it. We have these plants, whatever these are right here. There's Jimmy. Oh my goodness, this is my grandson's favorite fish. The little baby, Placostomus, named Jimmy. He's only about maybe not even a half an inch thick yet, or a half an inch thick, half an inch long yet. There he goes. These are lava rocks we found out in the yard. Let's see where the mama guppy went. Sorry, I'm wobbling all over the place. Trying to get settled down here. Oh, here's a little baby uh, Molly. Let's see if I can get it. Or, I keep calling them Molly. Sorry, guys. They're platies. No, that's a guppy. It's just so excited to see life happening in the aquarium. But for a first community aquarium for somebody, a 29 gallon is a great option. Fill it with two to three inches of sand. Put you a couple of platies in there, a little bristle nose, a betta, some snails. We have ram's horns, a uh, pond or pest snails. I'm not sure what they are. They came from... Corey, what do you have in yours? Yours are just pond snails, right? Because it came out of this pogo stem and stellatus octopus. We have mystery snails. We have the little uh, corridor catfish, little albinos. There's another one. Photobombing betta. This is just an exciting aquarium for a family. Look, look how it's growing in. I'm getting ready to have to take some uh, cuttings out and like do a little aquascaping and getting it looking good. But I just thought I wanted to share it with you guys. I love you all. I hope you're having a great day. Stay fishy and enjoy your aquariums. You know, it doesn't matter what you have or what you do, what kind of fish. If it's working for you and you're enjoying it, then enjoy it. Love you all. Have a great day.